up, guys? Shanning for Christ here. How's things going, guys? Yeah. The garage door at our address is open. Anybody in Colorado that's near it, go in and get anything you can. There's tons of stuff that's worth a lot of money. Okay. So there's a lot of background I've got to give before I get into this video. Who is this lady? What is going on? So I was watching some documentary videos and stumbled on an irate Alex video talking about Shani for Christ. She seemed like prime real estate to make a video or two discussing her locale stardom. So she originated off of Google+. Yes, that is correct. She was one of the 10 users on Google+. Apparently, she was in some group that discussed theology and science topics, hence her name, but did not really follow Christian faith and believe some crazy things like the moon being a hologram. She then moved to YouTube where she streamed her daily life and begged for money online. Outside of Cyrax, this is a common occurrence for lolcows. She's not very interesting and I apologize if I get any facts wrong. I'm just now getting into her, so as I investigate further, I will learn more. In this video, Shani and her family are getting evicted, and, is, and they're preparing to move to Pennsylvania. To my understanding, she has two kids. One is about 18, and the other is younger and has a mental disability. She also has a loving husband, known as Jason, but also referred to as Rev. We will quickly see the absolute dire state of their house that they leave behind. A guy who has known Shani since Google Plus decided to go visit the house after they left and documented it for us to relish. I know his recording is pretty jank, so please bear with me. I've rambled for far too long, but hopefully this gives you an idea of what we're about to get into. Anyway, I present to you MTV Cribs Repo Edition. When you walk in, the first smell is feces, um, some scented something or another, lots of like tobacco smell, probably something mixed with, uh, probably something heavily mixed with, um, oh god, I can't think, it's weird. So you might be wondering why they left so much stuff, and how someone who was getting evicted was able to stay in a location this nice. So to my understanding, Rev got a settlement of around $700,000, where they proceeded to waste all the money on a bunch of random crap for themselves and others. Allegedly, she spent something like $4,000 on cameos, including a lot from Feudy Beauty. <laughs> also, the apartment they were living in cost $3,000 a month. Yes, that is correct. This is a case similar to a lottery winner where poor people get money and don't know how to handle the money to make it have a long lifespan. They got their eviction notice on a Thursday, and it had to be out of the house by the end of the weekend, so they had roughly four days to move out. As you can see, they left a lot of stuff, including items that could have been resold for a decent margin. You got an entire content creator set up there, with a mic, a desk, and a chair, yet they didn't sell any of it. They use the excuse that they didn't have enough time, but in all honesty, they are just lazy leeches who are permanently the victims. They have time to be live streaming for hours on end, but can't recoup some of their money before they complain that they are broke. That intro clip also showcased that they said that anyone could come in and take whatever they wanted. I know they wouldn't be able to transport all of this to someone, but if you made multiple trips to a pawn shop, I'm sure you could have made at least half of your money back. Yeah, that's blood. All over the wall. God knows how long. That stinks. Oh, that reeks. What? Okay, yeah, no, see? Ooh. Like, oh, this is terrible. 
This place is an absolute pigsty. He already stated that it smelled like feces and claims that the wall was covered in blood. It looks a little too dark to be blood, and I thought it might just be food stains, or maybe they smeared themselves on the wall on their way out. They didn't clear out the fridge, and somehow it smells absolutely rancid in there. Why didn't they take some food for their cross-country trip? They could have saved some money that way, and then they wouldn't have to continuously eat out. I know for a fact that these fools aren't eating fresh foods, so they must have a bunch of spilt drinks and sauces in their fridge causing the smell. It's really absurd, this whole situation. We are looking at the lifestyle of your typical full-time Twitcher YouTuber, living in filth. The child's bed. For, uh, so again, I was paid to come in here and just take a film and get the hell out. So that's what I'm doing. That's right. <laughs> That bed right there is covered in black soot and dirt, was a kid's bed. To my understanding, this was the older kid's bed, and the parents claim that he is just lazy, which is why it is this way. Regardless of who is at fault, it's the parents by the way, a family shouldn't allow someone to live in squalor. The entire room is bare and the bed is on the floor. For all we know, the black is mold because moisture can build up under a mattress on the floor. Hence why we put them on bed frames. There's grime all over the walls too. Was he just kicking his legs against the wall? Or was there something more nefarious at play here? This dictates how poor of parents Shani and Rev are. My parents would never allow me to live like this. And would demand that I show respect to them and to myself. I gotta hold my breath in here because I can smell this is where it's coming from. They've left the bathroom lights on and the uh, vent... Um, here. It's just god awful. This is absolutely rancid. You can see that they literally never changed the litter of this guinea pig box. The animal literally had to pile on top of the excrement time and time again. The problems with this are numerous, but are dangerous for both the animal and the humans. Obviously, feces carry disease and can get the family sick, especially when it's exposed to everyone. The more cruel aspect of this is with the animal. Animals that have a designated area to use the bathroom will gain extreme anxiety if that area is consistently dirty and not changed over. This anxiety can lead the animal to choose not to use the bathroom and hold on to the, until they can't any longer. This can lead to kidney failure and intestinal disease. Hence the reason their pet eventually died was because of their own malfeasance. They should go to jail for these crimes against their animals. This video alone should be enough to open an investigation against them. And I'm not sure what actually is that smell in here. The body and like the cigarette. Like I want to try to say there was smoking weed, but I don't it don't smell like it. It's not like it was just, I'm walking over a two foot tall pile of clothes right now, like, you know, like cat food just sitting open. This place, it's just god awful. Food, trash, a sink. <laughs> this is the master bedroom. He says he had to climb on top of feet of clothing in order to move around. You know how lazy and smelly you must be for you to keep all of your attire on your dirty, unkempt flooring? They have so many frivolous luxuries within this space. They have their own microwave and mini fridge, while their children are living in despair. They also are always complaining in their lives from this space, which is adjacent to where their kids sleep. So anytime they are swearing or complaining, their children pick up on it. If the parents don't care, why would the kids? They are so revolting that they just dump their dishes in their bathroom sink. You know how ridiculous that is? The room is literally adjacent to the kitchen, so they could have exerted three extra steps in order to properly put them away. There are bugs and stains all over the place. This is like a cursed image you'd find on the internet years ago. I am not happy about what's coming next. It's fucking dry. Pete told they didn't pick up the and clean it up. They didn't clean up anything. Jesus. I'm seeing a few flies. Is it, is it a flies really bad? Not too bad. But yeah, they are noticeable. 
You have literal mold and bacteria fomenting in the f shelving of this fridge. I feel like I'm stuck in an episode of Bar Rescue, where John Taffer is just dunking on the owners of this house. Unfortunately, we will never get to see the redemption arc. We only get to see the pain. This is the mentally challenged boys room. They have a kiddie pool full of plushes that have remained. They left the lighting on. Apparently when they left, they thought they'd spite the owner by not cleaning or turning anything off, including that pink Christmas tree in this room. I won't show the bathroom, but it's disgusting and full of excrement and bugs are flying literally out of the sink. It's a thing from a horror video game. At least this bedroom has a frame so the bed isn't lying on the floor. At the very least, we are fortunate that only the bathroom has stains all over the walls. This room, also fortunately, does not have any obvious wall stains. Apparently their kids also frequently use the bathroom outside, which is an obvious sign of internal dysfunction and potential trauma. If you had no access to a clean restroom, you behave the same way. It's really just sad. One yet? Having fun? Oh, I just want to let everyone know the police have been notified of someone breaking into my house. Thanks. So these clips I'm about to go over are from their drive to Pennsylvania after their eviction. They say they are going to call the police on this guy filming because he trespassed. Ignore the fact that they encourage people to go to their house after they left and wanted them to take all the stuff they left behind. The cops obviously aren't going to be called because they know that they would be the only people to get in trouble. They left tens of thousands of dollars of damage in return. You're, oh my god, Gavin. Oh no. No. He didn't. No. No. He, no, honey. Gavin's okay. Is Gavin okay? So they gave the mentally disabled child the cat to hold during the trip. Nope, they don't have a carrier to put the cat in, and they're trusting someone with a mental deficiency to take care of the animal. They proceed to pull over and blow up all over the kid. How grotesque of a human do you have to be to treat your own child this way? They were more concerned about the animal's well-being in these two minutes than they ever were with the kid's who had to live in that filth for so long. Just a deplorable group of people that pretend to call themselves parents. Yeah. You have to. You come near me like that again. I you talk to me like that I'm again. tired of having a woman that treats me this way. I'm sick of it. Look how you're treating me. I am sick of it. Aren't these two just the idealized version of a couple? He constantly, he constantly threatens to leave her, but we all know that they are codependent on each other. They both equally work with each other to make everyone around them miserable. That cat better fully be on your lap. Pull him all the way up! Now! Thank you. Move! Now! Pull him up! I'm not kidding you! The whole thing! No, he's not fully on your lap. <sighs> yeah, discipline the kid who doesn't know what is going on. You know you could just take the cat yourself, right? You didn't have to leave him with a person that has already proven that they aren't capable of living up to your standards. She only lashed out like this because Rev said that she might have to be a little bit tougher and put her foot down for once. She is an embarrassment and doesn't deserve the title of mother. Oh, not bite the hand that feeds you. I'd have 700 grand left if it wasn't for you. Yeah, why don't you leave me alone? How about you leave me? Period. You want me to leave you? I am really close. Yeah, yeah you want me to go in the middle of this? I'm close to it. No, I'm yeah, going you, to Yeah, you want me to go. go. I'm going to my uncle's house. Cause, yeah. Because you made me broke. I sure am glad that their kids are hearing their divorce going on in the front seat. 
They are so low IQ that they don't even understand how detrimental this will be for them. If these kids ever had a real future, it was destroyed because of these disgusting freaks. I feel like this is only the beginning of my exploration of these people. I will let you know the more that I find out. But until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.